Right, Miss G is joining me for entertainment. Hello, Miss G. Hello. So let's start with the sad news, but it's a miracle, so uh, it's not sad news anymore. So over the weekend, okay. we heard that uh, gospel musician S.P. Oh, Kofi Sapong yeah. was involved in a near fatal accident. Uh, the car, the pictures of the car were, you know, were gory. It yeah, was, like it was a amazing. Wreck. Exactly, it was amazing yeah, how anybody got out of that car, you know, alive. And so that's, those are pictures of uh, what happened. S.P. Kofi Sapon says that uh, he was on his way to uh, the Bunahafu region with his family. So his sister was in there. He oh, had wow. a niece in there and a driver. And they didn't know what happened. I think was, he said it was a truck on the way that was parked. And I think he says the truck driver was sleeping or so. He veered off his way into their lane before they knew they had hit um, a, a log. Could that be a log? It's a big stick. That's what he said. And the stick just came through their car. Wow. And uh, that's, that's a, so he ripped off uh, the top of the car. So that's how come the police car is looking this way. But uh, he's doing well. He's been discharged. His sister is currently at a 37 military hospital. The niece has also been discharged, he tells us. So he's doing well. But he has So there was no fatalities? No. It appeared that uh, it was actually told. There was a prophecy that came to him. So oh, really? it looks like maybe the prayers may have averted uh, the ugly... Uh, they say God reveals to, to redeem. redeem. So I'm sure he was redeemed from this one. And so he's alive and he's now home. He's doing well. So away from that incident, now they say free SHS. You say what? <laughs> the only yeah, yeah, they say it, it, it. Yes. And amazingly, one of uh, Ms. Law's adopted sons uh, had admission to Achimota Secondary School. Okay. So you know that Ms. Law says she's an NDC member. She's always supported uh, the former president, who she calls her father. Now here's Ms. Law testifying to free senior high school. And uh, it was amazing the things that she had to say because she's praising Nane Ekufuadu. I am very glad to announce to you, sir, we are coming from Achimota Senior High School. Free SHS. Yeah, I am. Uh-huh. But you know, uh-huh. A bomb pass me radio so some So when I was going media, passed by the bank and took my want any long talk with ya because me are more in you know. So I took money, put it in my bag, ready to go and face what's written for me at Achimota Senior. I feel your coin, see table one, your coin, your table two, your week. Then I had someone asking, Are we supposed to buy books and form and blah, 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 blah? And then the response was, The government has paid for everything. And guns come like, <laughs> like, Charlie <laughs> is true. It's a thing that's made for everything. Okay, Miss Bella to dramatize that. One. Well, but yeah. yeah, I mean, the long and short of it is that um, the adopted son is going to Achimota yeah. Senior in one of the elite schools, actually. Exactly. And she exactly. doesn't have to pay, doesn't anything, have to at pay anything at all for well, the son. So that's good. people are saying that the ex president will be happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> but well, anyway, that video came from uh, Miss Bell's social, social media, media pages. Page, yes, so. yeah, exactly. So away from Miss Bell, let's also talk about the highest album. And that's the Sakodia's fifth album, yep, which yep, has yep, TT yep, yep. as uh, the cover of the album. So there was an, a signing session that he held at the West Hills Mall. It had a lot of musicians come through. And guess who was there as well? Tracy was there. Okay. Including Sakodia's lawyer, Becky, was there. And she came through with this report. I think I understand one thing, you know. I'm just trying to be myself. I just want to stay original. I spit in my own language. People think I'm limited. <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm heading straight to the Grammys. Take it or leave it. So bid it. 
Let go. The West Hills Mall for the weekend. For fans of award winning rap, Sarkodie, as he had a signing session for latest album, Highest. I think the one with uh, Joey B. You came all the way to the West Hills just to get your album signed. Yeah, I look at this one and I was like, I'm coming for the album signing autograph mm. all the way from Pokwa. Wow. Yeah, I'm very happy. Very you feel? Yeah, I'm very happy about it. That's you the picture with Sarkodie. Yeah, yeah the I, I, this is the great pleasure to be live ever. To the paper with King Sark, and I'm very happy about that. Does it come with the CD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with the CD? Really, yeah. So you buy a CD, then you're given a, a chance? Yeah, you buy a different You buy a different chance. Yeah. the sound he's going back to the soccer that people fell in love with it was a project that um, I was involved in in terms of taking it to the next level um, negotiating and made it very clear where he wanted us to go 18 track album features collaborations with the likes of Suli Briggs, Jesse Jazz, Jimmy Soul, Palasi, Corrette De Bello, Joe Victoria Kimani Run town. Because you want to know what I did Yeah. When Mr. Semisha says, So I will channel for two to let me nine. I mean, but if you look at what has gone into it, I mean, mm -hmm. you can a lot tell. Of work. Yeah. Left a lot, a lot of work. Of work has yeah, been. gone to that. Okay, so quickly, let's talk about KC, who wants to become governor. You know, he keeps not being sure, for me, of why he wants to become governor. But he gets to talk about it again, and they have only two months. To elections, how prepared is KC? Let's hear him. I'm in a party, but I'm not going to say the party. Why? Yeah, I just don't want to say it. Uh, my campaign manager said I shouldn't say much about it. But it's funny, I'll be, I'll be blunt, straightforward. It's funny that we're still in one cycle because there are some people I call Godfathers that are still running the, uh, the political arena. And you can't, it's like you can't do anything without them. You know what I mean? And you get into a party, you think, okay, hey, I think I have um, what it takes to. And everybody's asking you, who told you? I think this is Limpopo. Why are you here? And you go to the other party, okay, I need it. They'll be like, okay, I'll give you the get on a post where you need to pay X, Y, Z. Now, I don't think it's wise for me to pay to serve my people. I'm ready to serve my people, just like you, if we can work in here. I don't think you're paying China to work here. I think China is paying you to be here, you know. So uh, when people are telling me I need to pay them to serve them, it's not sounding right to me. Even if I have the money to pay for some of these things, like some of the parties uh, keep telling you pay this, pay that, pay this, pay that. It's not about the money. What are we bringing on the table? I, do you believe in this brand or you believe in the money? You understand? So these things have been going back and forth, back and forth. And it has brought me to a level where I said to myself, okay, I think there should be a new movement of sensitizing the youth. We have um, a lot of populations when it comes to the youth. You know, we have over 60 percent. Mm. All right, so well, we we'll just wish him all the well, best. Well, we wish him if all the best. He, he, he runs. Well, we, we hope to see his face on the ballot sheets come November, but I am not too sure. Okay. Yeah, so that'll be for entertainment. But you know, also the Yolo Dochi also will be contested. So we hope to see more entertainers, you know, let's go see, into let's politics. Let's see how it goes. Let's hmm. see how it goes. Thanks for having me. All right, thank you too, Miss G, for bringing us entertainment. Up next is Sports with Gary Alsmith.